Had a disappointing NT home campaign against the champions in the end. What's your verdict on the on the afternoon that you've just watched? Um, I think result wise, obviously disappointing. Um, as a marker and as a gauge for me personally, um, total opposite to disappointed. I think we've we've seen the difference today in terms of um, champions and a, and a team that's. Um, in building process, I think they've had three shots on target and scored three goals, um, and that's the difference. That little bit of an edge, that little bit of quality, uh, is the difference. I think some parts of our game today were very, very good. The application of the players, the work rate, the players can't be questioned. Um, it's the decision making and the the little bit of X factor, bit of quality that we're, we're lacking. Tight game, 41 minutes, soft penalty given. Probably was a penalty from well, from where I was sat, but. Fine margins in you chasing the game then? Yeah, and I think up until that point we were the better team. Um, we were totally in control, we were causing them problems. We started at a fantastic tempo and if it was a, an outsider watching the game you wouldn't know who was top of the league. Um, and then them decisions go against you. I haven't seen it again so I couldn't comment on it. Um, but even from then I felt we got back into the game and we, we come back out at half time. And, and we're playing really well, and then we, we can see the, another goal, which again, I'll have to see again. A lot of people have told me it was three, four yards offside. Um, whether it is or not, it's, um, it's disappointing to concede a goal like that. And then we're chasing the game, and, and obviously they get the, the third one. But overall, um, a lot of plus points for me personally, because it's final tick boxes that I've, uh, I've kind of ticked. I have questions that were, were answered in my head again. Um, and we, we go into the last week of the season. Yeah, it's going to be 14th or 15th, depending on that result against Curzon. Just want to sign up with a win, I would have thought, after after a couple of games with that yeah, one. Yeah, no. I'm really, really intrigued for next week to see what um, what frame of mind the players turn up in, because it's uh, 14th or 15th, you, you want to finish 14th, so it's a, it's a cup final game, isn't it? You can you can focus on it as a, um, a one-off game, that if you beat them, you go above them. Um, if somebody would have said to me when I first took over after my, my first week in charge that you're going to finish 14th or 15th, I would have bit the hand off because um, there's a lot more work. People, people are uh, aware of the work that's been done and how hard it's been for everyone this season. Um, trust me, it's been, it's been uh, probably times 10 of that. So everybody deserves a lot of credit. And if this was the, the uh, scenario given to me when I first walked in, I would have took it. So. Um, we want to try and get three points on Saturday and, and, and finish off on a win. And Jay Rollins obviously walked away with Player of the Year. Um, he's done. He's obviously a top scorer at the moment. Done pretty well for you. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean I've only had him for three and a bit months, so I can only comment on that. Um, he, he works very hard. He's got a lot that he needs to improve on. Um, but he's, he's done well. He's scored. He's scored a lot of goals. Always scored. A fair amount of goals, um, and the ultimate question will be on Jay. I think he's his agents working hard in the background to get him full time football. Um, and realistically, if that's where Jay wants to end up, that's uh, there's nothing we can do about it. But if he did go somewhere, you'd be retaining him, so you'd be entitled to something at least for him. Yeah, look, we want to keep Jay Rollins. So he's he's a, at this level. I think he's a um, he's a threat. He's a handful. Um, we'll see where that goes.